Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Hello my crafty friends. I am back today with another Chop It Up inspired project for you. We're going to create a card and envelope using one sheet of 12 by 12 pattern paper. Now I've recently been to Michael's and there are tons of new paper pads and I couldn't resist myself. I bought nine of them. Yes, that is correct. I said nine. Now I went to three different Michaels and all of the Michaels that I went to, they didn't have any of the hot by 12 by 12 paper pads. So the fourth Michaels that I hit, this one had the jackpot. It had all kinds of 12 by 12 paper pads and I had a panic mode and decided I needed them all. So that's what I did. I bought them all. So I've chosen one sheet from this beautiful paper pad. I'm going to use my paper engineering template reference book and I'm going to create a baronial style slimline envelope. Now, if you don't know what baronial means, that just means a triangle flap, extra fancy name for a triangle flapped envelope. So my template guide is gonna walk me through the steps to create this beautiful envelope. If you're interested in my paper engineering template reference book, you will find the link to purchase this in the description box down below. All right, let's get into this project. The very first step in my template reference guide tells me that I need a page size that measures 10 by 10 inches. And this measurement needs to be exact. So I'm taking my paper trimmer and I'm gonna cut down this piece of paper to 10 by 10 inches. I'm going to save the little scraps off to the side and we'll come back to those later. So I'm going to use a pencil, a ruler, and a scoring tool. And I'm gonna flip over to the white side of this paper so that you can see better as we work. All right, so the next step, it tells me that I need to use a ruler and mark on the edge of the paper. I'm going to identify all the sides of my paper here as A, and then make a turn, and then B, make one turn, C, and then one turn, and then D. Just for the purposes of the instructions, it makes it easier. Okay, so on side A, I'm going to make my marks at two and three quarter inches and three and a half inches. Okay, and like I said earlier, we wanna make sure that we mark on the very edge of the paper. This helps to create precise measurements. And then we're going to rotate the paper one turn to the left to side B. And on side B, my template guide tells me that I need to make my marks at six and three eighths inches and seven and one eighth inches. So let's zoom in nice and close so that you can see. Okay, I'm going to make my paper marks again on the edge of the paper at six and three eighths and seven and one eighth. And I'm going to mark these as well as one and two, just for easy reference for the instructions. You don't need to make these marks when you're creating this yourself, but for the purposes of this video so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm identifying these areas. So I'm going to continue on, rotate the cardstock, mark side C at two and three quarters and three and a half, and then turn one more time and mark side D at six and three eighths and seven and one eighth. Okay, once that's all done, we're going to move to the next step. I'll just freeze here for a quick sec. Okay, so side A and side C have the same marked measurements. And then side B and side D have the same marked measurements. And I've also marked each one of those little dots at number one and number two. On side A, we have dot number one and dot number two. On side B, we have dot number one and dot number two, and so on. So all four sides have the same sort of marking so that the next step will make more sense. When you're making your envelope, you don't need to mark A, B, C, D, and you also don't need to mark the dots one and two. I mean, you you can definitely do this if it helps you, you know, practice making the envelope and perfecting it, but it's not necessary. All right, so let's get back to work. Next step, 
using a ruler, we need to connect the dots from side A to side B. Now here is the reason why I marked number one and number two. We're going to connect side A to side B. Now we're going to use the number one dot on side A and connect that to the number two dot on side B. I'm going to draw a pencil line to connect those dots, but then I'm also gonna use my score tool and I'm going to score this line. The pencil mark is just for visual purposes for the video. I don't really need it, I only need the score line. So once that's done, I'm going to rotate the paper one turn, and then I'm going to connect the dot from side B. I'm going to connect dot one on side B to dot two on side C. Okay, pencil mark and then score, and then I'm going to rotate, and now I'm going to connect side C to side D. Dot one on side C to dot two on side D. And then finally, one more turn, we're gonna connect side D all the way back to side A. So we're connecting dot one to dot two, and then this will conclude the use of our ruler. So all the hard stuff is done at this point. The next steps will just be creasing, scoring, trimming, and gluing. This is easy stuff with all the hard parts already out of the way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start creasing those score marks. I'm just gonna fold the side flaps in and use my bone folder and make nice sharp creases. So as I had scored across that pencil line, it makes it easy to score and crease. Now don't worry that this flap is kind of going to be bigger than the envelope. We're going to fix that. So I'm gonna continue creasing all of my corners and forming my envelope. And again, this flap as well is bigger, but we're gonna come back and fix that too. All right, so we flipped over to the next page in our template book and we've creased all the score marks with our bone folder. And while we were creasing, we outlined the areas that need to be trimmed away. These little triangle corners need to be cut out to help the envelope fold together better. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut these little flaps out. And I'm just gonna follow along my pencil mark. I'll cut those away. And then I'm going to apply some adhesive. So I wanna close my envelope flap up. This is gonna be the bottom of my envelope. Now I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna connect where that little sort of angle meets. You see that angle on both sides and I'm just gonna line up my ruler to each of those little points and I'm gonna grab my pencil and draw a line across that flap. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab my scissors and quickly trim this out. Trying to get it as straight as I can. If you want, you could use a paper trimmer here but I was confident with my scissors and the pencil line, super quick and easy. All right, now we can apply our adhesive to close this envelope up. And I'm just going to apply my adhesive just to those little triangle side flaps. I'll fold everything in and press that adhesive into place and voila. Now we just have to trim off this extra little triangle point. Now you can flip this over, grab your scissors and just trim that little triangle away and then that will be enough to create the flap of your envelope. Okay, and then you'll have something that looks like this, and it's perfect. Now, if you wanted that flap just a little bit shorter, I thought it was a little too long, so I just used the width of my ruler. I lined that up to the bottom edge of my envelope, and I drew a pencil line, and I'm just gonna trim that away. I just find it's a little bit more cleaner and cohesive, and it sort of matches the bottom part of the envelope. So. There we go, that's it. Here is a baronial style slimline envelope ready to go. Now let's make a card base to put inside of this envelope. I'm gonna grab a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock and I'm gonna cut this down across the 11 inch side. I'm gonna cut this down to seven inches. And then I'm gonna pop it into my scoreboard and across that seven inch side, I'm going to score at three and a half inches. This is going to give me a card base that measures three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And it's going to fit perfectly inside of our baronial style slimline envelope. So here I've used that little scrap that matches the envelope and I've just glued that down to the front of my card. And I grabbed a sentiment from a Simon Says Stamps set that I have in my stash. 
and I just stamp your amazing in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Super quick and simple and it matches and coordinates together perfectly. And I've used up one piece out of those nine pads of 12 by 12 paper pad that I just bought. And uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. If you're interested in my template books, I am up to four different template reference books available for purchase on my website, sharing tons of different information and inspiration for chopping up your cardstock, creating envelopes, and some crafty projects to use up that stash. Thanks again for joining me. Have yourself a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!